Hi, this is Tony Mormino. In this quick video, I'm going to go over makeup air unit basics. So, makeup air unit, MAU, 100% outdoor air unit, 100% OA unit, OA unit, dedicated OA unit, dedicated MAU, or dedicated makeup air unit. So, these are all the same, really different names for the same thing. Okay. And what differentiates a makeup air unit from other units is this. So on a typical air handling unit, you have outside air coming in your OA damper. You have supply air blowing out the bottom of your unit. And you have return air coming in and mixing with the OA going through the cooling coil. So this is a typical air handling unit, maybe 20% outside air, 80% return air, and then your supplier. So a makeup air unit doesn't have any return air. It's 100% outside air, comes through the internal coils here and blows into your space. So we're gonna take a look at that here. Um, okay, so let's take a look at the inside of a typical makeup air unit. These are the components you're gonna find in a typical unit. Okay, so you have the outdoor air coming in the back, cooling coil, a reheat coil, your supply fan, your heating coil, and then the conditioned air will blow into the space, okay? So let's go ahead and walk through each of these components and kind of see how they work. So let's look at a summer day. This would be what we call a design day. So 95 degrees outside, very high humidity, your cooling coil is active, and your cooling coil is gonna cool the air typically in the 50 to 55 degree range for a makeup air unit. What's happening is here is the coil is colder than the dew point of the air. So it's cooling the air and the moisture is condensing out of the air. So it's able to dehumidify or remove the moisture from the air. If we take this 50 degree air, and blow it into your space, at some point you're gonna overcool the space. So what we do is we reheat that air with a heating source to let's say 72 degrees. This temperature really varies, depends on what the application is, but we'll just use 72 for this example. Now this reheat source could be a new source of heat, like an electric strip heater, gas heater. Typically on DX equipment, it is something called hot gas reheat. And I go over that in one of my other videos. We take this air, which is now dehumidified and reheated, send it through the supply fan. It goes through a primary heating coil, which in the summer would be off because you don't need to heat your air. So it's still 72 degrees. Take that air, we blow it either into the conditioned space or into the back of other units, and that's a whole other discussion. And typically you're at about 72 degrees and 50% RH. It's pretty common conditioned air temperature. All right, so what happens when it's cold outside? What happens in the winter mode? So let's say it's 20 degrees outside. Well, your cooling coil in this case would be off. There's no need to cool the air. So it's still 20 degrees. Your reheat coil would be off. So it's still 20 degrees. Got your supply fan. Now this is where your heating coil will come in. So let's say we heat this air up to 80 degrees because we can't blow 20 degrees uh, 20 degree air into your space. Not for long anyway. So this heating source could be electric strip heat or gas heat. Those are the two most common ones. There's also something called a heat pump that we use sometimes. And then there's hot water heat and other things like that. So, so this gets blown right into the space or to the back of other units. So there we go, 80 degrees. So the challenge with this type of equipment is to be able to do all this in a wide range of conditions. So if you have summer, you have uh, a summer rainy day, a cool rainy day, a hot rainy day, a very cold dry day, we need to make sure we can do dehumidify, reheat and heat the air under all these conditions. So I, let's take an example of minus 20 all the way up to 115 degree outside air coming into your unit. And let's say you want to discharge all the time between 72 and 80 degrees in low humidity, okay? So what we need to have in this piece of equipment is we need to have everything 
being able to modulate to catch all those varying conditions. So typically in DX equipment, we have something called a digital or VFD compressor, which can modulate over a wide range of conditions. We have something called modulating hot gas reheat. And I go over these two things in some of my other videos, which I'll give you access to in a minute. And then the heating coil needs to be modulating as well. So modulating heat, whether it's SCR electric heat or modulating gas heat, whatever it is that needs to be modulated. Okay, so I hope that gives you a basic overview of the makeup error handling unit and what's inside of it. If you wanna see other detailed videos, you can go to my new website, hvacwebinars.com. Here you can find all my recorded webinars, all my videos on the specific components of makeup error units, how they kind of work together. You can also sign up for my next webinar and you could sign up for, uh, if you want to talk to me about an application, you can sign up there as well. So hvacwebinars.com. Hope you come check it out. Thank you.